go as we go with California Canoe and Kayak at RodSavage.com. This is part two of picking out your very first boat. All right, so like I said, we're in the shop now, and we're trying to decide whether we want to do uh, river boating or kayak touring, sea kayaking. Um, let's say that we chose to do sea kayaking. We're going to um, remember that a boat length is a function of speed and stability, like this flat puppy is... Um, is designed for more recreational, more fun stuff. So even though that's long and fast, it's super flat, so it'll ride high. Um, your center of gravity is going to be high, and you'll uh, go slower than some of your racing hulls. So some of your racing hulls are going to be super unstable and super, uh, super fast, but very uh, tippy. On your riverboat end, you're going to want to decide whether you want to play boat. So if you can see the bow and the stern are pretty carved out, those are for doing cartwheels and initiating your sideborne tricks and some of your upside down tricks and a lot of your flat spins. And those are opposed to some of your steep creaking boats with a bigger bulbous nose and lots of air in the back to keep you afloat in the white water. Remember, your boat only floats in water, not in air. And so does your paddle and your PFD. They only work in the water. They don't work in the air. And white water is 50 to 90% aerated, even more sometimes. So you want as much air in your boat when you're going down steep creeks and waterfalls, and you want less air in your boat when you're doing flat spins and you're just going to a park and play. All right, part two.